부정적으로 보더라고요. 당신 부정선거 가지고 얘기를 하고 그래서 사람들이 싫어한다. 이런 거. 내가 부정선거를 완전히 음모론으로 보는 그런 시각을 가진 질문이 있었습니다. 저는 대답했어요. 부, 선거가 부정이 일어나면 그 작은 문제가 아니다. 헌법적인 권리가 침해당하는 거다. 그렇게 된다면 가장 큰 피해자 대한민국의 자유민주주의 제도 두 번째는 우리 국민 헌법적 권리를 침해당한 권, 국민 세 번째가 당선자를 빼앗긴 국힘당이다 네 번째 지금 제 국회의원 자리를 빼앗긴 절수도 있겠죠 저의 동료 출마자들일 수 있겠죠 그 얘기는 안 했습니다 어, 그래서 싸우는 건데 그러니까 헌법적 가치 자유민주주의 다음에 우리 당 그걸 위해서 싸우는 건데 그게 무엇이 잘못된 거예요. 안녕하세요. <웃음> Ladies and gentlemen, I am the son of a houseboy who worked for American soldiers. My father was 16 when the Korean War broke out. He helped the soldiers with shining their shoes, doing their laundry, and cleaning. In doing so, my father learned English, and he was my hero. I dreamed of speaking English as well as he did. If my father saw me speaking today, he would be so proud of me. We all know of the American dream. In Korea, we also have the Korean dream. We call it a dragon rising up from the ditch. Growing up, we did not even have the bathroom in the house. Despite such difficult circumstances, I worked extremely hard and became a dragon out of the ditch. While my father was alive, I was his pride and joy. I graduated from South Korea's Ivy League Yonsei University and joined the major South Korean broadcasting network, KBS. I was Washington, D.C. correspondent and the main evening news anchor. I was the Korean version of Tom Brokaw or Peter Jennings. <laughs> Following my career as a journalist, I was the presidential spokesperson for former President Park Geun-hye, and after that, I was elected to the National Assembly. I was ignored by the leftist government, the mainstream media, and the judiciary, all dominated by current President Moon Jae-in. So last September, I came to D.C., and I engaged the American media, government, and the international community regarding the truth of election fraud. I even held a one-man protest in front of the White House, the Capitol, and at the United Nations headquarters to expose what happened in Korea. It was planned by leftists. Electronic voting machines were manipulated. CCP intervened. And early voting and mail-in ballots were manipulated as well. There's a overwhelming evidence of election fraud. But let me share with you one thing from my district. There were three candidates in my district, including myself. And the ratio of ballot cast for in-district and out-of-district early voting for all three candidates were the same, 0.39. What are the odds? A famous South Korean statistician said that this is like a throwing a thousand toys in the air, 
and all of them landing on the same side. Another eminent professor said that it was either God's work or it was fraud. <laughs> Election fraud is the biggest threat to democracy. But let's not be disheartened. Let's work together. <laughs> During the Korean War, General Douglas MacArthur saved South Korea with Operation Chromite, or the Incheon Landing. Democracy was saved, and I'm grateful. Operation Chromite's odds of success were 5,000 to 1 against. Our efforts to expose election fraud and to defend democracy might be more difficult, but we cannot stop now. The memorial for Operation Chromite is in the district I represent, Yonsugu Ul Incheon. I don't think this is a coincidence. The seeds of freedom planted by General MacArthur 70 years ago in Incheon grew in my father's heart and mind. And that made me fight for freedom. The son of a humble American soldier's houseboy now shouts, let's go together in this fight to preserve freedom and democracy. Thank you very much. Thank you.